two minutes of hope. Two minutes of hope. In the last book of your Bible, in the book of the Revelation, there was a statement by the exalted Jesus Christ that is amazing. In Revelation chapter 3, he says, I am the one who holds the keys of David. I open and no one closes, and I close a door and no one can open it. And then he says to the church in Philadelphia, I've set before you an open door which no man can close. We rejoice in the opportunities that the Lord gives us, that he opens doors that we don't deserve, that we don't know how it happened other than that he just favored us. But it's also good to know that when the Lord says to evil, it's time for you to stop. He can close the door on evil. How does he do it? He can do it in one of two ways with a troublemaker. He can just silence the troublemaker. Or he can change the heart of the troublemaker. There's a powerful statement made by a pagan king named Nebuchadnezzar. The one who destroyed Jerusalem, his armies ravaged the city, plundered the temple, hauled off Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego into captivity. But God wasn't finished with Nebuchadnezzar. Evil to the bone. But God had a plan for his life. And through a set of circumstances that only God could orchestrate, Nebuchadnezzar was brought to his senses and his heart was changed toward God, the ultimate evildoer in a sense. The Lord had mercy on and changed his heart. Listen to these words. This is, this is Daniel chapter 4, verse 37. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise, exalt, and honor the king of heaven, for all his works are true, and his ways are just, and he is able to humble those who walk in pride. He is able to humble those who walk in pride. Jesus says, I have the power to open a door and no one can close it. But I have the power to close a door, close a door on evil, close a door on trouble, and no one is able to start it up again. That's our hope. That's our hope. There is nothing that Jesus Christ can't do. God bless you. God bless you.